So today, I don't want to talk to you guys about, as you read from the title, the Nintendo Switch OLED and the possibility of uh, a Nintendo Switch 2 possibly releasing next year. So, so I know I, uh, I know I have a, uh, I don't really have a Switch right now because my Switch got sold a while back. But I'm working on getting a new one. But in the time being, I just want to talk about the OLED and about um, and about and about about my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch 2 and about uh, and about if it will if I think it will release next year. So recently news came out. I'll probably have it on the screen a news article. But recently news came out about uh, a Nintendo Switch 2 possibly being in development. So this Nintendo Switch 2 is supposed to be able to do 4K gaming. It's supposed to be as power with the news article is saying to be a powerful PS5 and Xbox Series X Series S. But I'm doubting that. I'm guessing most likely it will be on par with a PS4, PS4 or a PS4 Pro. And that uh and that and that it will most likely be a Switch successor. It will not be in the same thing as the current Switch. Now, here's my and and one of the things the article was saying is that it wouldn't be backwards compatible with the current Switch. Here's the thing, I don't think any of that is true. I mean these are all rumors right now. Let's take it all with a grain of salt and all that. I mean rumors are rumors. And they're kind of, even if they are coming from credible sources, they're rumors. But here's the thing, the Nintendo Switch uh, 2 most likely I think will be a Switch successor, but I don't think it will be in a Switch successor like 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 how most people are thinking. I think it will still carry still carry the same playstyle as the Switch. But it will have its own new Joy-Cons while still being backwards compatible with the old existing Joy-Cons and the old existing Switch. Because I don't think Nintendo would ditch backwards compatibility for the current Switch. I mean, look how big the install base is on the current Nintendo Switch. It would just be asinine for Nintendo to ditch the whole current install base on the current Nintendo Switch. Now, now as for the OLED, I think the OLED was supposed to have like some higher end capabilities because one of the things, another thing that came out and I'll post a link to his video below, but uh, RGT85 had made a video a while back stating how the new Nintendo Switch OLED dock had a certain chip in it that could output 4K 60Hz. which. If Nintendo was really going to ditch backwards compatibility with the current Nintendo Switch, they wouldn't have in the OLED dock a chip that is capable of 4K 60 Hertz. They they would just make a whole new dock for the whole for the next Switch, which makes me think that maybe that well, makes me think that maybe the uh, maybe the, that that. Uh, that that maybe when they release this new switch, it will be it will be compatible with the OLED stock, while also having a new SOC system on a chip, and also being able to say have its own new controllers while be while being all all well, backwards compatible with the old switch controllers, so those switch Joy-Con controllers. Now the OLED, I think, was originally supposed to be able to have more power, but then Nintendo was like, "Oh, the with the whole chip shortage and all that going on because of COVID, they were like, no, we're just gonna make the OLED just have the screen instead." And then because Bloomberg had reported several times, even after the OLED came out, that Nintendo was, you know, did have 4K uh, development kits out there. And, and they even named one of the companies which is the company making the Star Wars, uh, Star Wars, free to play Star Wars game for the Switch, Star Wars Hunters, and, um, and, 
and then they denied it, but then, uh, but, but then, uh, but then what you call it, but then what, then a few days later, then someone came out and put out a patent to where they would have a new SOC system on the chip that would be able to output 4K, 60 hertz, and be able when docked and be able and be able to upscale games upscale games with DLS DLS deep learning super sampling to 4K when a game is running at a lower resolution and be able to be able to act like the game is playing at 4K native 4K when it's not and being able to play those games at higher resolutions when docked this Nintendo came out with this patent literally days after they denied Bloomberg, denied, denied what Bloomberg had posted on their uh, on their post on their website. So, so after that, it got me thinking that yes, Nintendo may be making them to the Switch too, but I highly doubt Nintendo's going to ditch the whole backwards compatibility. It just doesn't seem right to me and it seems like Nintendo would want to still be able to have that current Switch install base switch over to the new Nintendo Switch or Switch 2 or whatever they call it and be able to say play those newer games while also being able to play the older games. Now 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 I now like I said also this article says that that new Nintendo Switch could come out by the end of uh, by the end of next year, beginning mid 2023. Now, do I think it will come out by the end of next year, mid 2023? Uh, knowing yes, I mean I can see Nintendo trying to release a new console next year, but at the same time, no, because I think it's too soon. I think we'll piss off a lot of people that just bought the OLED. Like what I'm probably going to be doing, and now of course I'll probably buy the new Switch even when it releases. But I think it will piss off a lot of you just about the OLED today. Why is it the OLED? You already released a new console box. I buy this, so I think Nintendo may wait at the latest is late 2020 holiday season 2023. Now, and I think the earliest would be mid 2023. Now, one of the reasons I think it might be mid 2023. Or at, or, or, at, or at the latest, or at the latest, all, one reason I think it will be mid 2023 is to line up with one game, and just like we did with the current Nintendo Switch, that this game line up with, with the new Switch's launch, the Switch 2 or whatever. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. I think they might try to line that release up with the Switch 2 or new Nintendo Switch or whatever they call it. I think they might try to line that game up with that console because it seems like every time Nintendo releases a new console, they like to have a key game release with it in the Switch family. I mean, back when the, back when the, back when, back when the current Nintendo Switch released back in 2017, it uh they released it with Breath of the Wild, and then when the Switch Lite released, they released that with a link between worlds. Then, like I said, with the Switch OLED release, they released that with Metro Dread. Now, Nintendo may want to be like, oh, Breath of the Wild 2, let's have this be our whole uh our whole key game for the Nintendo Switch 2, just like Breath of the Wild was the key game for the current Nintendo Switch. And have that be the game that shows off the power of the new Nintendo Switch or the Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever they call it. Now I do think, do think if they try to line that game up with it, it will be early 2023. But if they don't try to line that game up with it and instead just release it on its own, I can see at the latest it being holiday 2023. Because I don't see Breath of the Wild 2 releasing by holiday 2023. I see it releasing, if it doesn't release next year, uh, Breath of the Wild 2 will probably delay it to like mid-2023, then release it with the Nintendo Switch 2. So, just like they did with the uh, current Nintendo Switch. Now, as, you know, now like I said, do I think this uh, new Nintendo Switch will not be backwards compatible with their old Nintendo Switch? No, I don't think that. I, I, I think any I think anything that posts that 
it's giving false information just because, like I said, look at the install base of the current Nintendo Switch. It's Nintendo's largest install base to date. And I doubt Nintendo, I, I, I doubt Nintendo will want to cannibalize that in the end or make to where people who don't and, and I'm pissed off that pay, that player base of the current Nintendo Switch be like, oh, well, now you can't play your current Nintendo Switch games on the new Nintendo Switch. It will just make a lot of people mad. It will make a lot of their consumers mad. And people just won't, people just probably won't buy it as much. I mean, that was part of the reason without, I mean, if you won't buy it as much. You will, I mean, you'll have your first, first influx of, of, early, of early adopters, but as for everybody else, they'll be like, well, I don't want to have to upgrade so fast, so I'm just going to uh, stick with my own Nintendo Switch, and yeah, but I, do I think, but yeah, yeah, do I think Nintendo will, uh, do I think Nintendo will, uh, do I think Nintendo will release the new Nintendo Switch, uh, with backwards compatibility, yes I do. I think backwards compatibility is a key thing in, in going into this new Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch 2 development because backwards compatibility plays a lot of why it would sell well. Because if you think of the current gen consoles, the PS5 and Xbox Series S and X, the reason they're doing so well isn't because of current gen games. There are hardly any current gen games out for it that really take advantage of it. A lot of reasons why those consoles are still selling well and still and people are still playing them is because they can play their last gen games, their PS4 or Xbox One games on the current gen consoles. So it's not compatible with last gen. So because it's not compatible with last gen, they can play that next gen experience on the current, and they can play for the current gen experience with. They can play the they can play those current gen, they can play the last gen game on current gen. Then yeah, that's the reason those consoles are selling well because they're like, oh, well, we can still play our last gen games on current gen, and people will. You are still using that to play those games, and that's why they're doing so well. You are still playing them. Whereas, if they did try to push compatibility, that will hurt Nintendo in the long run for the Nintendo Switch 2 or new Nintendo Switch, whatever they call it. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. And the Switch OLED, I think it's a wonderful console. I think it, I think it has great features. I think I've seen how vibrant the screen is on it and how and how much it does make a difference in the handheld mode of certain games. But do I think but do I think that Nintendo would alienate the Switch OLED and release a Nintendo Switch 2 so soon after releasing the OLED? No, I don't think so. I don't think I don't even think we're running an announcement for this console anytime next year. I don't see us asking an announcement for this console to like early 2023 like right around probably the beginning of 2023 when um when when they're when they're preparing for a for for a, either a nintendo direct at the start of the year or whatever you will see it at the early 2023 we'll see. And, it, and if we do see it in 2022, it will, it will be like how when the Switch got revealed, they'll reveal, uh, reveal like a short trailer showing it off. And then they'll be like, oh, well, early 2023, we're going to show off at this date the full reveal of it. With like a full event, maybe a full live event like how they did with the Nintendo Switch back in January, uh, January 14th of 2017. So yeah, I don't think I don't think we're going to see this console anytime soon or right? announced anytime soon. If it does get announced like here, I don't see it coming out holiday season. I see them announcing it and then saying, "Oh, we're going to reveal more on it in January of 20 um, in January of 2023, and then uh, and then and then fully release it in the fall of." Um, Either, either the fall or winter of 2023 or release it in early March, late April of 2023. 
So yeah, see, that's my opinion on the Nintendo Switch 2. I want to get it out to you guys. I wanted to talk about that with you guys because it's something I've been wanting to talk about. But that's all I want to talk about today. So until next time, people, God bless, take care, and I'll be you in my next video, whatever I make. Peace out.